life, death. These are the things that divide everyone on this planet. Doesn't matter how long we have on this planet, a year, a day, a month, what can we do to achieve what we want before we die? Well, a channel that have one year to live showcase that. And now they are gone. But the, but the memory of that channel is still in this. And today, it's time to keep that memory alive. Memento Mori, Lunas, Honest. Bring out the sacrifice! Ah! Right, grab out my pencil. Magic. And it, just place that over there, and let's just get sketchy now. Three, two, one, go! So now I'm just actually placing where I want the carrots to be, putting them in poses. So, I do this first so that way I get like a general idea of how, where I want the character to be before I add in the details. And so I'm adding both the wings, this is the first wing here, and I'll be adding a second wing. And after I'm done with the wings, I will be moving on to actually erasing these characters with my needed eraser to add in the details. If you haven't seen these characters before, I've drew, drawn them in my Una's Honest Dragon video where I turn Una's Honest into dragons. So, this is them. And now that I'm drawing this, I have this nagging feeling in the back of my head as I was drawing this. Something in, like, it wasn't feeling right as I was sketching this dragon out. I was trying to make it look nice, I was trying to make it look good, but it just wasn't. I, I was putting all my effort into nothing as I was just sketching away. And as I came to realization, I hate it. I hate it so much. So, new paper, I'll cut it up into size, and square. So now I'm restarting over this time, not an Una's Honest Dragon. It's pretty much me sketching out the logo for the um, whole channel. But I'm adding my, a bit of my own twist. So I'm just drawing in the hourglass part, uh, fixing the glass piece here. I wish I'd fix it up more, but it's better than what it used to. So I didn't want to add in the skulls like um, the original logo had. So I looked up uh, Voltus, um skulls to kind of, because my dragon, I still wanted to bring in my dragon. So my dragon are skulls are kind of like vultures. So I um, gave um, the skull vulture skulls, but added in the horns on top because my dragon has the horns on top. The top skull I didn't really particularly like because of how I drew the eye. So it's now it's time for me to line art this, and so I'm using a brush pen to line out the entire uh, big piece, like wooden part of the um, hourglass. And I have to say, I absolutely love this part. This was one of my favorite parts to line art. So, after finishing the bottom and adding the details to everything else, I grabbed a smaller pen and started line arting, um, like, everything else. The fan, the skull, the little shiny area. So, and kind of adding the small other details to the skulls that I felt that needed. And so after erasing a little bit of pencil, I grabbed my ink and it was time to kind of add colors to this. Well, it went by me color, I just black and white. So I'm adding the darker areas for the eyes to kind of give them shading. And now it's time to kind of give a little gradient to the skulls to make it look like they're shaded. And after I was done with both skulls, it was time to do the, um the sand. But it is not sand. As you can see here, I'm putting red ink here. The sand is actually blood. This was one of my favorite things to do here. Adding the red. I, I feel like it contrasts the entire piece. It, it pops. It makes the entire piece pop. I mean, it's the only color besides black and white, that which you will see later, me adding white to this piece. I, it just make it like you could it's like something you can look at now I'm actually bringing in the ink alcohol thing that I from the Nerdy Crafter box which I'm struggling to open and it was sadly leaking everywhere I don't know what was happening I guess I didn't close it properly when I first use it 
So after struggling what seemed like forever, I managed to get it open and pour some out. And I used this part, um, the ink for the glass pieces. I wanted it to make it look glittery, uh, like shiny. But um, you can't see it on camera for some reason. Um, it's you can see it a lot better like in person. But on camera, I, I'm just fixing up something that I forgot. You can't see it. Now it's time for me to um to shade in the allograph part, not like the glass pieces, but like the base for the allograph. I'm adding this um learning from like my experience from the skulls. I use that with um the rest of the piece. I'm not really good with watercolors, so I figured the ink base water thing, I don't know what to really want to call it, it's a lot better than watercolor. So I'm using my cheap paint that I don't really like anymore, I'm trying to use them all up. I've been replacing them slowly but surely, getting rid of all the old paint that I don't like and I'm using the new paint. Um, so I'm using both of the white and this white and black crap art. Um, paint. Now, originally I had planned to kind of do like a grading effect with the black and the white paint. The white paint would gradiate with the um, black paint on top, and then the black paint would gradiate with the white paint at the bottom. But I never did that because I ran out of time. But I like it how it ended up um, as it is. Now, when I was painting the bottom white, you could barely see it even on camera. Well, not just on camera, even in real life, it's kind of hard to see the white paint. I had a hard time seeing it. But I'm still surprised that I am was able to paint away from the allograss. I don't know if there's any imperfection, but it looked fine. Just adding a little bit of white shine to this, and I'm grabbing out a pen to add my signature and the name of this piece. And once it's, I'm done, it is finally complete. The end. What can we do before the clock ends? I don't know. We'll just have to continue on with the journey before that tick clock ends. So please, if you want to be part of this adventure, consider subscribing to my channel. That way we can reach our goal to 100 subscribers. That way I can do my game board event. Better for you guys. Also, don't forget to hit the bell and notification bar to be notified of upcoming videos. And don't forget to like and share this video. And comment down below and tell me what you guys like to see next time. So let's continue on this journey before the clock ends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, dragons.